How short is too short in a guy? Respectfully, if you're not over six feet, you're not going to bag a girl in New York. Let's just keep it honest. How tall are you? I'm like 5'5". Five, five. How tall are you? Like 5'5". Five, five. All right. How tall do you think I am? you like 5'7". <laughs> like 5'7". It's funny. You're too small. All right. I'm going to shoot my shot like I'm Devin Booker. Can I bag you? Do you know who I am? Don't disrespect me. For real, don't disrespect me. <laughs> don't disrespect me like that you trying to do something strange for a piece of change do you do you see me in ncu stop playing with me you, you must not know who i am don't don't do you see me in ncu stop playing with me you, you must not know who i am don't don't so let me just preface this by saying i hate dating I have zero desire, zero desire to go out on dates. I don't want to hook up with someone. I don't want to waste my time on them. I'm really just not interested. The only time I go on dating apps is when I am bored and just need somewhere to scroll that is an Instagram. The entitlement mentality of the Western woman is unbelievable. Decades and decades of Disney princess programming and the everybody gets a trophy generation has turned this woman crazy. What is going on here? To the point where you have an obese person out here dressed so skimpy, exposing so much. Trust me, people don't want to see that. Acting so obnoxious, rude. The masculine gestures and the way they talk, the way they act, the pomposity is just unbelievable. Why would anyone want to deal with this? Why would anybody want to deal with this? And they keep shaming people, especially black men. They keep shaming black men into accepting this. Why would you want to accept this? Someone that's not disciplined enough to keep their health in check and yet still has a bad attitude. What do you need that for? Like, don't get me wrong, like, bad attitude is bad attitude, whether you're a 10 or you're a 2. Bad attitude is bad attitude. But at least it'll go down easy with someone that's, you know, that's up there on some model type shit. But not someone looking like a bag of mashed potatoes talking about she's the price. Doing a 360 spin. <laughs> that 360 spin trying to ridicule this guy someone that in a couple of years ago she would be glad to have but now because of the era we're in now where this young ladies have been told don't improve yourself you're perfect the way you are if a, if a man doesn't accept you the way you are then he doesn't deserve you that word deserve 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 you get what you earn what about deserve, deserve? I don't know you to know what you deserve. You have to earn something. You have to earn things. We're living in an era where nobody wants to earn anything anymore. They just want it because they quote unquote deserve it. Come on, man. This is getting ridiculous. They've been told they are the price. There's no room for improvement because they're already perfect. But come on. There's always room for improvement on, on everybody. It doesn't matter if you're an athlete. There's always room for improvement. As human beings in general, we should always strive for improvement. But this whole boss chick, bad chick mentality is not just in the black community, by the way. The white folks have it too. It's creeping into the, the Asian community as well. It's spreading like a virus. But black people are getting it worse. Black men are getting it worse because our women, man, they don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> they don't want to hear nothing. Can't tell them itch. Ah, it's just ridiculous. I can't even blame brothers anymore. They want to like go to another country and find peace. Brothers out here sliding into the DMs, <laughs> sliding into other communities to try and find some traditional women that have been brought up right and let me just say this by the way let me digress for a little bit like if you're dating for a young guy or a young woman young girl whatever dating someone or have an interest in someone 
Make it your duty to try and check out their background. See they're from a two-parent household because that really helps a lot. That really helps to formulate the mindset of someone at a very young age and that will determine how they move on in future, how their character is shaped, whether they're overly emotional or rational thinking males. These are the things you have to find out. Ah, man, this is another day in the Western world. Man, they think they're the price, y'all. They think they're the price. A KFC in one hand and a McDonald's Happy Meal on the other hand. But they are the price. You can't tell them nothing. But if they, f they fail to realize it's a competition out here. The sexual marketplace is an open marketplace. It's not back in the day where you have like only uh, black men are only allowed to date black people and vice versa. No. Now it's open. You can go everywhere, date anyone, marry anyone. So black women have to up their game even more now because black men are not tolerating this anymore they're opening their eyes now they're not tolerating this anymore these filipino chicks and thai chicks are realizing that you know you black women are slacking they come to snatch up these men there's not enough men to go around men die in wars men commit more suicide die at work the death rate of men is sky high there's not enough men on the planet in general even less when it comes to black men, because we die quite quite early. If you're in your 30s, you're middle-aged as a black dude. So you don't have time to faff about, like stressing yourself out with irrelevant nonsense. Pfft, these women are coming. These third world women, they're like, man, forget that, man. We're coming to snatch them. If you guys don't want them, we want them. We'll take them with open arms. Treat them well. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all don't know what's going on, man. Y'all don't know what's going on. It's already starting to happen. You have a bunch of black women now. Women in general, but a lot of black women because that's my community. That's what I know about. The research I do from time to time, that's what I see. A lot of black women are dying alone. They are dying alone because they've been brainwashed by their moms and their grandmoms in a way where they don't know how to cooperate with a black man anymore. And black men are like, I can't deal with this. I deal with this stress with my mother being raised by a single mother. I deal, dealt with this stress with my mother and my grandmother that I'm still taken care of till this day. I can't deal with that. I can't add you to it. I need someone to help me relieve stress, not add to it. So black men, are, they're, they're leaving. <laughs> it's no joke. The only time you're going to realize it is when they start saying it in the news. When it starts going to like breaking news. So, so, and so, and so, and so amount of black women died last week. It was found home alone, just dead by themselves on the couch watching TV. Nobody knew about it until three weeks later after the stench came out. That's when you're going to realize, oh, shoot, it's getting, it's getting serious out here. Well, carry on with your entitlement mentality. Carry on. Carry on. See how well it works out for you. <laughs> Enjoy your day, guys. Enjoy your day.